Hey, good morning everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Today is Thursday, June the 6th, and our scripture reading for today is Nehemiah chapters 1, 2, and 3. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father God, we love you. Thank you for all that you do. We ask, Father, for your blessing today. We need you, Lord. Help us to read this scripture and, Father, understand what you intend for us to know from it. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so I guess as you can tell, we, we've uh, changed settings a little bit. Bridget encouraged me to move around a little bit and not do the same thing over and over. So this is the uh, edition of our Bible study. I guess we're going to call it Beyond the Pond uh, Bible Study because I'm beyond the pond. All right. Uh, this is my, if you see right there, that's the back side of our dairy barn. And over here, that's the barn that we were in just the other day. And let me see, let me move this way. There's a, oh, let me move that way. So right, right there, you can see a little bit of red. That's the house. So that's, that's where we're, I'm a little further away from everything. Uh, I don't know if the traffic noise is gonna be a little bit worse or better, I don't know. We're gonna try this anyway to see how it goes. In Nehemiah, Chapter 1, Nehemiah receives word of the conditions of Jerusalem. Now, he is in Babylon, understand that. Uh, so uh, there were some men that came from Judah, and they were brought to him. And, uh, and they told him the people were in great trouble and disgrace. Jerusalem wall, Jerusalem's wall has been broken down, and its gates have been burned. With no walls or gates, the people were open for attack and robbery. Nehemiah wept, fasted, and prayed. He prayed of the graciousness of God and faithfulness. He asked to be heard and confess the sins of the people. He asked for success as he goes into the king's presence. Chapter 2, as Nehemiah brought wine to the king, he asked permission to go to Jerusalem and rebuild the city. Permission was granted along with the letter with the king's approval for building materials for the gates, walls, and a home for Nehemiah. When he delivered this letter to the governors of the region, they were displeased at the thought of someone seeking the prosperity of Jerusalem. Nehemiah surveyed the walls around the city and then uh, revealed his purpose in coming to Jerusalem, saying, let's rebuild Jerusalem's walls. So they will be no longer. So we will be no longer in a a, a disgrace. The people surrounded or, or responded. Sorry, let's start rebuilding. And their hands were strengthened to do this good work. Sanballat, Tobiah, and Geshem opposed and mocked their work and threatened them. Um, but Nehemiah withstood their attacks and accusations. In chapter three. As the repairs are being made, the names of the workers and where they built are recorded. Now, uh, here's something that I took from that. Everyone's work will be recognized. Everyone's work will be recognized, whether for good, as the builders were, or for evil, as Sam, Ballot, Tobiah, and Geshem were. See, their names were recorded, those who were doing the work, and those who were opposing the work. All right, so let me get to our thought for today. <clears throat> Much can be accomplished when Christians work together, for the body is not one member, but many. And Christ is revealed through Nehemiah's prayer for his people. Christ also prayed for his own throughout the ages, without, with which includes us today. John chapter 17, verse 20. God bless you and have a great day.